so these are techniques. I mean, there are, I mean, you can take these over the centuries. We can go back to, you know, the shamanic origins of so much, you know, so much of the, the early human societies. Um, drumming techniques, yeah, and especially using the breath, um, the, you know, practices of meditation, practices using a, a sense of the divine, how the that is understood, but if we're talking about the early ages, you know, a sense of the divine that is infusing everything within us, outside of us, and that the breath is that which unifies, brings together what's beyond us and what's within us. So practices that really focus into the breath. So there are many ways over the ages that humans have explored that which is beyond the immediate aspect of mind so so over many centuries you know there are many practices uh, i mentioned earlier stan groff and you know he, he's developed 20th 21st century approaches but uh, these are all based on on ideas that are part of our common heritage so yes i mean what you're saying the transpersonal psychology it shares a great deal with depth psychology but i think maybe transpersonal psychology has become more fluid in its approach to adopting practices, um, you know, which have a longer history in terms of spiritual practices. Obviously, depth psychology has its own practices, but they 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 tend. And we have Freud and the you know, free association approach that he used, uh, hypnosis and other technique that's used, and Jung. You mentioned Jung. Jung is a huge pioneer. There's no question about that. And his his approach to active imagination, really trying to amplify the imagery. You know, the centre of the psyche is about imagery, and Jung understood that so well. And you know, his his life work really was was finding ways to amplify that imagery to let us to enable us to to connect with that fount of the imagination that is really the core of what it is to be human.